The name of this video tutorial is Curve Modifier for Blender 2.5. Blender's Curve Modifier is an object mode deformation modifier that uses a curve object to influence a bend or a curve in the modified mesh object. A thank you to Neil Hersig at Tufts University and Hersig at Tufts.edu. The video that is the source of my video is at www.grillus.net. Let's prepare the scene first. Delete the default cube. Right click to select, then X and then enter. Add a tube object, accepting the defaults. Shift A, Mesh, Tube, Enter. With the cursor in the 3D viewport, switch to Front View, Numpad 1. Press the N key in the 3D viewport to bring up its properties. Rotate the tube object 90 degrees along the Y axis. R, Y, 90, Enter. Change to Orthographic Mode, Numpad 5. Scale the tube five times in the X direction. S X5 enter. Tab into edit mode. Go to edge select mode. Press the A key to unselect all the edges. Like all Blender deformation modifiers, the deformed object must be well defined. That is to say, it must have enough internal vertices to sustain the deformation modifier. Select the tube object and tab into edit mode. We'll use the curve modifier to bend the tube along its length. The tube has many edges, but it needs vertices to sustain the deformation. To add vertices, go to Edge Select mode, and then box select the center edges by pressing the B key and creating a rectangle containing the horizontal edges. Click the Subdivide button in the 3D Editor Tools panel on the left five times to get enough vertices to curve the tube along its length. Tab out of Edit mode. With the tube object selected, click on the wrench icon and then the Add Modifier button. Add a Curve Modifier. The Curve Modifier uses a curve object to influence the curve in the modified object. The curve can be a Bezier curve, a Bezier circle, a NURBS curve, a NURBS circle, or a path object. We'll use the NURBS curve. Place the 3D cursor below the tube object. Add a NURBS curve object. Shift A, Curb. NURBS curve. Name it Tube Path. Press the N key. Rotate it 90 degrees along the X axis so that it's parallel to the tube object by changing the rotation amount in the text box. Tab into edit mode. Click on the object data button, the one with the curve icon, and in the active spline panel, check endpoint U. This makes the NURBS curve easier to control. Tab out of edit mode. Select the tube object and press Shift S after selecting the tube object. Snap the 3D cursor to the tube origin point. Then select the NURBS curve object and press Shift S again. Now snap the 3D NURBS object to the cursor by selecting Selection to Cursor. Press Z to go into wireframe mode. The NURBS curve object is at the origin point of the tube object. Select the tube path object as the curve object. Go to the curve modifier panel. Immediately after placing the tube path object as the curve object, the curve places a deformation on the tube mesh based on the properties of the curve. Select the NURBS curve object and tab into edit mode. You can control the effect by adjusting the control points of the NURBS curve. Select the left vertices of the NURBS curve. Grab the vertex and move it. Note how the curve influences the deformation of the tube. Tab out of edit mode and reselect the tube object. Then tab back into edit mode. Note that the curve modifier is a generated deformation. The tube sub-object structure remains intact unless the modifier is applied. In the Curve Modifier panel, there's a button called Use Modifier while in Edit Mode. You see the modifier's effect as a ghosted mesh when the button is activated. Go to Vertex Select Mode. Press the B key and then select some tube vertices and scale the vertices up a bit. Watch the effect in the ghosted mesh. While Use Modifier while in Edit Mode button is active, another button is called Apply Modifier to Editing Cage during Edit Mode. 
If activated, the deformation effect is displayed live in edit mode. The default deformation axis in the modifier panel is set to the X axis. Tab out of edit mode and reselect the NURBS curved object. Then tab into edit mode. Select the right NURBS curb control point. While holding the control key, left click to create an additional control point. Select the rightmost vertex. Add another control point to the right by clicking the left mouse button and holding down the control key. Do the same on the leftmost control point of the NURBS curve. By selecting the vertex and pressing the G key, you can adjust the path. We now have a path created by the NURBS curve. Tab out of edit mode, select the tube object. Go to solid display mode by pressing the Z key. As the tube is moved along the X axis, G, X, and then drag, the tube is deformed based on the influence of the NURBS curve at any given point. Place the 3D cursor below the tube and add a NURBS circle. Shift A, Curve, NURBS circle. Rename it Tube Circle. Rotate 90 degrees around the X axis, R, X, 90, and scale it up a bit by pressing the S key and dragging the cursor. Select the tube object and remove the curve modifier by clicking on the X in the upper right corner of the panel. Then add a new curve modifier. Select the tube circle object as a curve object. Now when you move the tube along the X axis, G, X, and then drag, the tube follows the NURBS circle path. This makes it easy to animate the tube on the path. To illustrate, go to frame 1, select the tube object, press the I key and choose low rot scale, go to frame 100, move the tube along the X axis, G, X, some amount, and press enter, press the I key and choose lock rot scale, go to frame 1 and press alt shift A to animate. Using the curve modifier makes it easy to create paths such as a planetary orbit, a path for a roller coaster, or a path for a train track. I hope this gives you some great ideas for using the curve modifier. You can try this with other curves such as the Bezier curve, Bezier circle or path, as well as other views such as top, bottom, left, or right. Happy blendering.